Hi beautiful friends, how are you all doing? I hope you're all doing fine. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for returning back here to watch my videos if you are a returning subscriber. But if you're new here, hello, welcome to my channel. Please, before you leave, remember to subscribe. And when you subscribe, click on that notification bell. It is down there so that you'll be the first one to be notified whenever I upload a new video. I promise you, you will always enjoy every content that I upload in this channel. So dear beautiful friends, I've been getting comments here on YouTube and even on my Instagram DMs. Lots of ladies asking me, Bella, I have been on online dating apps. I keep getting messages from older guys, guys that are way, way older than me. Oh, guys who are interested in me are very older than me. Bella, what should I do? Please advise me. What is the right age gap to have with a white guy on online dating apps? Especially you ladies that are interested in interracial dating. Yes, in the past, I talked of the age gap, but I am here again to answer your question because I've been getting this question over and over and it's high time I answer you guys because if you have subscribed to my channel, what's the meaning of subscribing to my channel? You ask questions and you don't get answers. So today's video is a girl's talk disclaimer. I am not doing this video to make you leave your older white boyfriend. Not at all. I'm not making this video to push you date an older white guy. <laughs> Not at all guys, I am here to shine your eyes. You know I have been honest with you and even in this video I will be very very honest as a sister tell you the truth because these days exist lots of people that mislead you dear beautiful ladies, especially ladies that are interested in interracial dating because i've been seeing this with my own eyes my own ears you find a lady is asking a question like i've been on online dating apps i'm dating an older guy he is 30 years older than me he's 35 years older than me he's 40 years older than me what should I do? Please advise me. And then you find the answers they get is like, as long as that white man has got his own passport, he has got a European citizenship, or he has got an American citizenship, he has got money, he is rich, then go ahead and get married to him. My dear sister, age is just a number. Really? <laughs> Let's find out, guys, in this video, important questions to ask yourself before you date an older guy on online dating apps and later on get married to him. So dear friends, question number one to ask yourself before you date an older white man on online dating apps and later on get married to him, I told you guys, before you go to an online dating apps, you should have your own original plan and never go against it. And I know within that original plan, you have got your own preferences, girl. So if you're someone who said, I will never be able to fall in love with an older guy, or I won't feel that connection with an older guy, why should you respond a message from an older guy on online dating apps? Why should you initiate something that is not what you want? It's not your preference that is going against it. And if you push yourself, go against your own original plan, then later on get married to that guy, you are going to regret because you won't feel love. You won't feel that connection with an older guy. And initially you knew it. So this won't be fair to you and won't be fair to that man. I told you, if it is not what you want, do not go for it. No matter you are desperately looking for a white man to marry you, please, please don't go into a relationship with an older guy whereby you know it's not your preference at all. So before you ask me, what is the right age gap? Girl, is it what you want? Is it what you prefer? <laughs> Question number two to ask yourself before you get into a relationship with an older white guy on online dating apps and later on get married to him 
and here we imagine you are in your early 20s or in your mid 20s and this guy is in his 60s so ask yourself this question do i want kids in my life in the future if the answer is yes i want to talk to you as a sister who loves you who wants the best for you a guy who is 60 years old even if he wants to make kids with you just know that you're going to take care of that kid you're going to grow that kid by yourself because he doesn't have that much energy to help you out so you should know that when it comes to the kids another thing you need to know concerning you wanting kids some older guys in their 60s they have got kids already older kids that are even older than you so this guy is starting all over again most of them won't accept it at all in their 60s it is the time they want to relax and enjoy life not starting all over again running around with a little baby <laughs> so most of these older white guys in their 60s yes they will want a very young lady but when it comes to making kids they will tell you no we can't have kids but you are young you want kids so don't put yourself in such kind of a relationship or some of them will accept that they want to have kids with you but will they be able to have kids with you <laughs> You need to ask yourself that and like I told you having a kid with an old guy like that Think about it. Yes, age is just a number But I'm telling you what matters most is what you want as a woman in your life So friends question number three to ask yourself before you go into a relationship with an older white man on online dating apps and later on get married to him this is very very important if you know yourself that you are a kind of woman that still you want to live your life you want to travel all around the world you still want to have fun then i'm telling you putting yourself in a relationship with an older guy like that you are going to regret in the future it's not that an old white man in his 60s or 70s doesn't want to travel no he's gonna travel with you but he won't be able to run the same race that you want to run and if it is traveling at that age he has traveled enough he has done it all he just wants to stay at home read some books you know relax watch tv take a simple evening walk not a guy that you will take and go together to a nightclub forget about it <laughs> Not a guy that will wake up in the middle of the night and tell him, let's go to this place. I just feel like having fun tonight. <laughs> that will not happen, guys. But what will happen, you are going to feel very bored. You're going to feel very miserable. You're going to feel like you have not enjoyed your life enough. And that is so, so unfair to you, my dear, beautiful ladies. That is why I am here to advise you as a sister. Another thing you might say, okay, if he doesn't want to travel, if he doesn't want to go out, have fun with me, I am going to go alone. It will not happen, dear sister. He won't allow you. And if you force it, if that guy has got kids or relatives, they will start saying that you are treating him bad and maybe it might be the end of your marriage but a marriage can end yes will it end well it might end even very very badly so why put yourself in such kind of a situation but if you are a lady you know you have done it all yes you can go with his own race if he tells you let's sit at home and just enjoy the movie you'll sit down and enjoy the movie he tells you let's go and take a walk you will go and take a walk with him you know relax with him then that's okay go into that relationship girl <laughs> question number four to ask yourself before you put yourself into a relationship with a much more older guy on online dating apps and later on get married to him ask yourself this are you a lady that is so ambitious you want to work 
in the future and maybe I've got lots of responsibilities to take care of. We know ourselves, black African women. Back home, we have got lots of responsibilities. You have got maybe your parents to take care of. You have got your siblings to take care of. Are you in that kind of a situation? If the answer is yes, I want to tell you the truth. Yes, men are very different. But when you date a guy in his 60s, in his 70s, trust me, most of them won't let you go to work. And this is the reason why. I told you last time exist lots of white men who go for black African women. They know we are very vulnerable and we are very, very in fragile situation. So that is why you find a 60 years old guy will go for a 20 years old young African lady because he wants help. He wants someone to take care of him. But as a black African lady, when you find him, he's a white guy, without thinking well, without asking yourself a question like this, you go into a relationship with him. Once you arrive there, the guy tells you, you cannot go to work because he wants to spend more time with you. He wants to be with you so that you can take care of him. Maybe he is retired, wants to relax, and in his relaxing time, wants to relax with you. Won't give a damn shit about your ambitions, about your responsibilities. I've been seeing these things happening. There is a lady I told you left her baby in Africa, married that old white man and arriving here, the guy doesn't want to send money to the baby back in Africa, doesn't want to bring the baby to Europe, no, doesn't want the lady to go to work, wants that lady to stay at home and take care of him. The results are she is now crying so much, regretting and feeling like she is in a trap, doesn't know when she will get out of it. So if you're a young lady, please be very, very careful before you put yourself in a relationship with a much more older guy. You might find yourself your dreams are shattered by getting married to him. Because most of them guys, they are very, very lonely. So he takes you to cover, you know, <laughs> that space to cover his situation of feeling lonely. He won't let you go work eight hours a day. He won't let you work 12 hours a day. He won't let you take two or three jobs a day. <laughs> it will never happen. And some of you will be like, he's rich, he's gonna give me money. Not all rich older guys are generous. So if you decide to put yourself in that kind of a relationship, then make sure your future is secured. Not shattering your dreams down. Please, please. Question number five to ask yourself before you date an older white guy on online dating apps and later on get married to him. I know exist ladies no matter how I talk, they still gonna marry an older white guy. They still gonna date that older white guy on online dating apps that is 40 years older than them. Guys, I respect your decision. If that's the case, then get to know that guy's financial situation because exist older white guys that will be on online dating apps because they feel lonely and they want someone to chat with but when it comes to their finances those older guys are super super broke that older guy will not be able to afford a flight ticket come see you but he'll tell you sweet sweet words he'll tell you i want to marry you he'll just stay there to fantasize with you so if you accept to chat with such kind of a guy, please, please ask questions which will lead you to know his financial situation so that if you know that guy is in a very tough financial situation, then you end the communication because I advised you, you are coming from a different continent. Let's say you're an African lady or you're coming from the Caribbean. You should be with a guy that is financially stable. Interracial dating, interracial relationships are not cheap. 
not cheap at all i am still on his financial situation some other older guys yes he will afford a ticket to fly you in or he can afford a ticket to fly to your country be in a relationship with you but he has got lots of debts on his back so his plan to get you it's because he knows you are very ambitious in life <laughs> you wanna work so he uses that takes advantage of you gets married to you when you go to his country this one is different <laughs> won't stop you from working because it plays on his favor he will make you work but all the money he will take it to solve his financial problems to pay his own debts so be very very careful dear beautiful ladies and some other old white guys on online dating apps you find that they have been through a divorce and from that divorce i told you when a man divorces it's like he takes five steps backwards in his life so maybe that guy lost everything through the divorce or he is still in the court fighting with the ex-wife they are in a very big conflict due to properties it's unfair to put yourself in such kind of a situation i'm telling you this so that you get to open your eyes and make right decisions so never listen to someone who tells you take a 70 years old guy a 60 years old guy and you are there in your 20s full of life he tells you the guy is rich yes he might seem rich maybe he is living in a very big luxurious house and you think this guy is rich has got lots of luxury cars <laughs> but behind the scene that guy is in a very big conflict with his kids that guy is in a very big conflict with the ex-wife that guy is in a very big conflict with the bank <laughs> so guys as you chat with that guy because you decided to chat with him even if he is old please ask questions take your time to get to know him so that you can understand better the situation <laughs> than sleeping and waking up you are in the streets with nothing in the foreign country for example guys if you remember Chantel's story that old guy that was dating Chantel in the end she came to know that that guy never had a plan to stay with her in his country because in the end he had to tell her the truth even if he was inviting her to the UK but it was just like a visit because his situation wasn't in a position to get married to her not in a position to give her just a normal life because even the money to pay for his flight ticket to Rwanda to meet Chantel is the sister that gave him that money so you tell me wasn't this old guy wasting Chantel's time yes he was wasting Chantel's time and he knew right from the start his financial situation that couldn't be with Chantel but kept on the relationship with Chantel kept on giving her the hope that they're going to be together by the way guys before I forget this if they have been lying to you that getting married to an older guy who is European then you get your European passport automatically you become a citizen of that country automatically <laughs> it's a lie so if you're out there and you're thinking i'm going to get married to an old white guy in his 60s 70s 50s <laughs> and maybe you're 19 or 20 you just want to use that guy to get the citizenship i want to tell you that you can get married to that guy but it doesn't mean you getting married to him automatically you become a citizen of that country not at all if anything happens in between even if you guys are married you are going to go back 
to your country because the process is they just don't give you the citizenship immediately especially here in Europe they first give you longer permits and then later on that is when you start applying let's say for a citizenship or for a permanent residence permit it takes really really long if this guy comes to know you were using him girl you are going to go back home even if you guys are married so it's not a guarantee that when you get married to a european guy then you get your citizenship then you're good to go it takes lots lots of time and you might destroy your life for nothing why am i saying you might destroy your life get married and thinking that you're going forward but you'll find yourself going backward starting a fresh for your wrong decisions so i thought it is good i let you know so friends with this one i am talking to all ladies of all ages because everyone deserves to find love no matter your age and trust me i don't have anything against old white men on online dating apps we will all get older <laughs> and i respect that guys so we take an example you are on online dating apps searching for love you're interested in white men and then comes a guy that your age gap is 10 years 15 years till 20 years what should you do in a situation like that and that guy is interested in you you need to ask yourself this what are you looking for in a man you want a guy to love you for who you are you want a guy that you will make kids together grow a family you want a guy who is respectful you want a guy who is human you want a guy who is generous mention all things that you are looking for in a man give that guy a chance chat with him get to know him if that guy can give you kids one or two kids he has got everything that you ever wanted in a man but the only problem is you have 15 years age difference 20 years age difference or 10 years age difference for me here i will say age is just a number because if a guy has got everything that you ever wanted in a man why not give him a chance so with this i think i have answered all your questions from 10 years age gap 20 years age gap 35 years age gap 40 years age gap what should you do in that kind of a situation but guys if you have more questions about this don't hesitate to write in the comment section below i would like to know but for today let us end it here thank you so much for watching this video till now if you have liked it give it a thumbs up share it with your friends family everyone that you think will enjoy this video and learn something watch my other videos too they are super good comment below what you think about this video don't forget to subscribe please please join the family thank you for subscribing be blessed until next time guys i love you so much you're always here in my heart ciao ciao